Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and in this video I shall explain the process of production of sulfuric acid or you know it this is a contact method or the contact process uh, and this uh, concept or the basic has been discussed under the chapter of minerals and this is about non-metal minerals so in the stream of non-metal minerals we studied about sulfur the process of fresh process to extract sulfur and then in this video we need to know that how sulfuric acid is being produced and you know that this is a widely used acid worldwide and that is why it is known as the king of acid so we are talking about H2SO4 and for that reason we need to know properly that what is the contact method think about it. this is a furnace and this is another converter this is also a furnace but this is hugely heated like 450 to 500 degrees celsius and this is an absorber so what is going on here there are some steps that we need to follow to produce h2so4 so firstly that we get sulfur from the fresh process so here sulfur and dry air will be channeled in a furnace where it will be heated and then firstly the step one the step one sulfur and the dry air will be channeled to produce sulfur dioxide so in the furnace it is produced sulfur dioxide and with more oxygen then it is channeled to another converter or a furnace where 450 to 500 degrees celsius and with the catalyst vanadium pentoxide will be present so then in step 2 step 2 that sulfur dioxide with more oxygen is channeled through this furnace with 450 to 500 degrees celsius with the presence of vanadium pentoxide and then it will produce sulfur trioxide if this converter and then this sulfur trioxide is directly went to this chamber which is actually absorber and then this sulfur trioxide can easily be add with water and then it can produce sulfuric acid but this is a dangerous for an industry because it will create a huge fog because condensation of that fog sulfuric acid is really really tough and that is why in step 3 in step 3 that sulfuric acid is being soaked by this concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4 and this is 98% concentrated and then that will produce H2S2O7 this is known as oleum or you can say that this is pyrosulfuric acid so sulfur trioxide first we add with concentrated sulfuric acid in this chamber this is concentrated sulfuric acid and then this sulfuric this pyrosulfuric acid in step 4 in step 4 this H2S2O7 or pyrosulfuric acid is added with water is added with water and then it produces liquid H2SO4 so these steps will follow in this contact method because this is very important I mean in your question paper you might have a question like that suppose uh, something like that A is added with oxygen is producing B and then B again added with oxygen is producing C and then C is going down to D and again suppose this is E and this is D E state can be like that and C uh, in this case H2O in this case is written H2SO4 and this is water in your question paper you might have experience with this type of questions because the steps that I discussed it's really the reflection of this uh, diagram how suppose when you see in your question paper that 
A is a non-metal having the atomic number of 6, 8, then you might think uh, 16, that is a sulfur. So when sulfur is channeled with oxygen, this will produce sulfur uh, dioxide and then sulfur dioxide will channel with oxygen produce sulfur trioxide and sulfur trioxide can be added directly water to produce H2SO4 but this is not the process that you follow we use sulfur trioxide to concentrate sulfuric acid to produce pyrosulfuric acid and then with this pyrosulfuric acid water will be added to produce H2SO4 so here you see that in this stem according to the explanation this A is sulfur this B is sulfur dioxide, this C is sulfur trioxide, this D is H2S2O7 and E is H2SO4. The question can be that why we do not go directly from C to E? Why we need to go through from C to D and then from D to E? Because we cannot mix water directly with sulfur trioxide. Rather, we soak the sulfur trioxide with 98% sulfuric acid or concentrated sulfuric acid to produce pyrosulfuric acid or oleum. So this is the step we need to follow. You please watch the uh, figure which is available in the Google or even in your book. Think about the furnace, the converter and the absorber. In furnace, sulfur will be added with oxygen and then it will channel to the another converter with maximum heat at 500 degrees Celsius with the vanadium pentoxide then is again channeled with another absorber with concentrated sulfuric acid and then it's producing sulfuric acid with the absorption of oleum and water and these are the steps we might follow and this is the question can be common on your question paper and if you have this question please write this answer correctly with the explanations why we cannot add water directly to sulfur trioxide so i hope uh, you enjoyed this short video and if you feel any sort of problems in your study please let me know in the comment sections i'm ready to answer your questions and please join me with my facebook page is given in the descriptions so take care stay well see you in other tutorials bye